tonight from the Georgia State Capitol, where after more than four hours of debate, Georgia State Senators have approved the so-called heartbeat bill. That bill would basically ban most abortions in Georgia after a heartbeat is detected. Now, just minutes ago, Senators voted and Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan read the results. On the passage of the bill, the yeas are 34, the nays are 18. This bill, having received the requisite constitutional majority, is therefore passed by substitute. Well, that vote caps off an afternoon of emotional debate. Now, Fox 5's Anjali Proctor has been at the Capitol all day and listened to both sides make the case. It is one of the most divisive issues in our country. This week, under Georgia's Gold Dome, protesters and supporters of the so-called heartbeat bill held signs and pushed opinions for and against House Bill 481. The measure drew heavy law enforcement presence both outside and inside the state capitol. The legislation would basically ban abortions after six weeks instead of 20 weeks, as law states now. The measure already passed the House and played out for hours Friday afternoon in the Senate. We will not throw away these children who are not perfect, because all children are perfect in the eyes of God. We have a right to determine whether or not we give birth. It is enshrined in our Constitution and has been defended by the courts over and over and over again. The Senate made some changes to the bill that is getting national attention. Parents would be able to consider the unborn child a dependent and therefore a deductible when figuring out how much state income tax they owe. Also, fathers could be forced to pay child support beginning six weeks after conception. But opponents say even if the measure passes in Georgia, it will face a legal fight in the courts. Who knows, it still has to go through the Senate, and it, then it still has to go through, back to the House and to agree the, to the changes the Senate made, and the governor still has to sign it, and then courts still have to approve it. So we're not, we're not anywhere near done.